Welcome to another video from The Truth Shed. Shedding light on the truth. Uh, this is the first video that I'm putting out there on the internet, but hopefully it's going to be an ongoing series of videos which, which I'll be doing. Um, and it's dealing with etheriology and the aspect of, of that, which I'll, I'll explain all that more as I go, but um, the aspect of what we're doing is uh, work I've been doing for about 25 years, and it's the discovery of... Um, well, I call them wilderness folk, but it's really just, you know, folk that can be found in places like woodlands and moorlands and locations over the United Kingdom. The reason we're here in this woodland today is to find this, uh, hopefully, this, this uh, species here. I've just done an illustration of it. Right, it, hopefully that'll be picked up on there. Um, now that's... Uh, a pixie-like creature called, um, well, the tribe's called uh, the Morsu tribe. That's a name I've, I've attributed to them. They're a bit taller than that. They're about 10 inches high and they've got greyish skin. Um, yeah, so that's that's why we're, we're, we're here in this woodland. So I'll, I'll, you know, I'll keep doing little videos as, as we travel around all day and um, then further on into the week. Uh, just note of warning that I'm, this, I'm just trying to do all this on my own. Uh, and this equipment's quite new to me, so uh, apologies if it's not the best quality. Hopefully we'll get better as we go uh, along. Um, I, I, I am being assisted um, by advice from uh, um, somebody who I've known for a few years, but he, as I say, he's not here with me. So, um, yes, let's, um, that's it really. So let's, let's, um, let's go down to the woods further. Uh, so the last time I visited these woods, uh, this cave uh, area here was used by them. Um, I think temporarily they tend to uh, do some adornments around the, the edge of their dwellings if it's a permanent one and this doesn't go in very far. So it's probably just used as a, a shelter but I, I, I saw a few in here before. I'm just at the moment just looking for any sort of detritus, anything that they've they've left around but there doesn't seem to be anything here but um, there's a trail going along here again not very fresh so I'm imagining that this isn't um, currently in usage but nonetheless it's always worth checking um, places where you know that they've been in the past now this this is very interesting I've just found this by the base of down down by the this tree by this this cave here now this is called a well what i call it a, a hooker stick uh, it's it's broken it's meant to be about this long usually so that maybe that's the reason why they discarded it is well they're they're normally more resourceful than that and you'd see it repaired i'll bring it closer to camera so that we can uh, you can have a better look that's the end of it and it's it a bit more and I'm going the wrong way of the focus now and they use that for hooking um, you know berries or mushrooms or things that are too high up for them to reach they'll just they'll hook it with that and and uh, so that's let me just see if I can just get in front of the camera again I'll just focus it where I'm going to be and then so imagine I'm very small, uh, you know, and I'm this high, and there's a, a berry up there, and this would obviously be much longer than that, sort of this sort of height, you know, they can't reach it, so they'll, they'll use this stick to, to pull off berries and things that are, that are out of their reach, and that's, that's the usage of this. But they very rarely leave these lying around, well, I mean, I mean I've never seen them leave these lying around. So I'd imagine it must have snapped and um, they couldn't find it. And uh, doesn't look like it's been handled for a while. The wood started to um, d d deteriorate over time. So it probably happened, you know, quite a while ago. This is, this is where I'm going to be for the next couple of hours or so. If I don't get any signs or any um, 
noises or anything then I'll move on but otherwise I'll stay here there's, there's a relatively comfortable seating bit just next to the rock here and the good thing about this spot is that I can see all around and up there it's quite it's not open but it's not too thickly wooded but there's plenty of places for them to see me whilst hiding in the crevices of the rocks and uh, they don't want to approach across a wide open plain because obviously they are, I'll be able to see them as well as they can see me just had a little look around just this is just actually a couple of meters away from where I'm sitting on the other side of the tree and I just noticed these little mushrooms which are rather pretty but the unfortunate thing is it if they were in this area they would have they would have taken these uh, because they these are a delicacy for them and the fact that they haven't already taken them means either they're waiting for them to grow but in more likelihood they they're just simply not around but it does give me an opportunity to yeah, just got this out and um, just show you what what you can do with it so you can grab the thing I mean these mushrooms are quite small so they're they're hard to grab but you can imagine if they're larger you know this would be quite effective at um, well, I'm like, no, they do need to be larger. I can't. You need to really be able to hook them all the way around. But you know, you can imagine that's uh, that's an effective tool. A larger mushroom. They eat these mushrooms, but they also make them into little. Um, uh, they make all sorts of uh, ointments and uh, medicines out of uh, you know herbs and fungi and things that they find and also um this i don't know if you can see it from there that's uh, birds droppings i've seen them collect that as well quite common for them to collect bird uh, feces so i've been here for about an hour or so waiting but as i said because of the mushrooms i'm not sure that um that they're likely to turn up here I might just uh, I was going to say I'm going to go but I might just leave it half an hour because also the other reason is I've I don't know where my hat's gone um, it's rather unfortunate um, having a camouflage hat when you lose it in the woods makes it very difficult to find um, the reason I wear camouflage is not because uh, not because I don't want them to see me it's it's because those colors tend to keep them calm I'm, I'm wearing generally earthy colors and that's just you know if I was wearing bright blue or something like that there is nothing bright blue in their world apart from the sky and in their minds I'd probably represent I don't know some sort of sky god or something and uh, that wouldn't be a uh, that wouldn't be beneficial um, so yes uh, I'll carry on looking for the hat so the good news is that I found my hat uh, that's good uh, but unfortunately I had to walk back about half a mile back to where we were doing the another video and um, so consequently I'm quite hot and slightly irritable um, so I'm going to wait here for a little bit and cool down um, before I start uh, carrying uh, you know going to the next place uh, carrying around all this video equipment and everything is, um, is making things quite a lot slower than usual so uh, I'm not quite as hopeful that we'll get a sighting today uh, because I've been doing a lot of stomping around, as I said, is not the best idea. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll see how it goes.
So I've been here for about half an hour now, 40 minutes maybe. Um, and I've decided that I'll just stay here for the rest of the day and, and keep my eye on the surroundings. I also noticed that this is um, a spot where I came probably about 10 years ago when I visited here with uh, Tom, who's the, the chap who's uh, helping me upload all, all of this and, and uh, uh, giving me advice on how to use the cameras and things. Um, it was a lot easier actually having somebody else doing all the camera work rather than trying to do everything uh, yourself. So uh, that's a lesson to be learned, but uh, probably too late. So it's, it's a new day today and um, it's actually starting late uh, be, uh, because this morning it was, um, it was raining. So I nearly didn't actually come out, but then I remembered I had to pick up the night vision camera um, anyway. And luckily on, on the way it, um, it, it cleared up. So it's actually been quite sunny for the last, it's gone in now, but it's been sunny for the last half an hour or so. So that's quite good because after the rains, uh, they tend to come out because they'll be collecting water and, and doing things like that. Um, so it's, 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 it's quite fortunate really that that uh, rain did occur. Uh, I, I looked at some of the footage that I shot yesterday and I noticed that, um, the, well, first of all, the micro microphone level was too high and, and um, so that wasn't great, but we're getting used to this. Uh, hopefully today will be better. I've lowered the levels a bit and, and uh, you know, that's ho hopefully that'll make a bit of a difference. Um, also, apologies, uh, I noticed on a few of the shots my shirt was riding up and you could see my fat belly and uh, that's slightly embarrassing, but um, I'll try and I'll put a t-shirt on today, so hopefully that'll prevent any uh, unwanted uh, um, revelations uh, like that. Um, so I'm going to find a new spot today to sit. Uh, yesterday wasn't at all successful and I, I just think they're not, they're not in this area, so I, I'll try and find somewhere else to go. Um, so that's the plan. Yeah, okay. So th this is a good spot. Uh, we're further down, it's a little bit damper, unfortunately, I'm getting a bit of a wet bottom, um, but it's worth it because this is a good, comfortable, apart from that, comfortable place to sit. And uh, it's you can be seen all around, so I can see, sort of a, get a good view, but they can, they can spot me. And if I stay here rather calmly for a, for a while. I'm hoping that um, they'll come along and see what I'm up to. Uh, they, they like these covered areas because they can't be seen by any um, buzzards and things flying around. And this is an area which I, I, I've seen them before. So, albeit uh, probably about eight years ago. But that's a good thing because, as I say, they're, they're nomadic. So um, the last time I visited this woods was about a year ago and they, they were... Uh, I've already checked that area and they're not there. So it's a couple of hours now I've been here. That's quite usual. I mean, uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not discouraged by the fact this is taking a long time. I'm just slightly feel a bit more under pressure than usual because I have, because I'm filming... Uh, it but it, it always takes a while now the more soon know who I am so that they're, they're not going to be um, freaked out by m when they see me and what I've been doing is trying to make a noise which I've done previously and it's this <clears throat> that's uh, what I'm doing is I'm hitting my tongue against the bottom of my mouth and making that sound and I think it sounds a little bit like a drum beat, but it's, it's really just to, for them to, to um, it's just a curious sound. It doesn't travel very well though, but if they're nearby, it, it might be enough to just, I'm just keeping, you know, my eyes peeled on the perimeter up there and there's also some rocks down there. So I just saw one um, just down there. It's very tempting to, to follow him but that wouldn't do any good because he, he's a scout and he, he wouldn't lead me back to camp if I chased him he'd just disappear down a, a crack and I wouldn't see him for the rest of the day and he'd alert everybody else to stay underground so but he was just down let me just it's going to take me a moment just to focus in 
he went down there. Um, just better keep quiet actually because if he does come back again I'm just going to hold the camera like this and then if he does come back I'll I'll try and get a shot right keep just keep watching up behind me on that ledge let's focus it I think I've got the right spot hold, hold on yeah ah he's just there ah you see that was a quick glimpse there Okay, uh, he's not there. Oh, sorry about that. He was, he was doing. A, oh, there he is. Okay, let's. <laughs> there. Ah, well, at least we've got a shot of of one. Let me just let's keep it up there. I was a bit loud there when I was talking. Um. So it's raining, and that's um, slightly irritating. Um, that means they probably won't be coming out again today if, they, if it, this carries all. The sun's coming out over there. Um, I've been here about half an hour. It's, the rain's not as bad as it was, so it, it might clear up, but. It, it still means that they might have headed back back to their um, holes. So I'm not sure if we'll see anything else today. But if not, I have a have a plan that, um, that I'll implement just before before I head off. Uh, but I might have to cut it short today. So at least we saw something. What I usually do is is use seeds. Um, I've got that's not a seed. That's a sticking plaster. Um, but I have some courgette seeds and um, carrot seeds uh, that's another carrot there um, cabbage these are just seeds from the from the from the garden center but obviously cabbages and and courgettes don't grow in here so they're fascinated with those but for to, the purposes today and to hopefully get a more likely result I'm going to put down some of these which are <laughs> they're not seeds they're flying saucers and Flying saucers are, are sweets that are filled with um, sherbet, and they, they go mad for the sherbet. So uh, what I'm going to do is, just to make sure they see them, is stick them on a little stick like that, and then poke that into the soil there, like that. And then, um, and then we can check back in the morning and see if they've taken them. So the weather's a lot better th today. Um, sun's actually just gone in behind a, a cloud. I think it's going to come out in a minute, but it um, uh, hasn't been raining at least. Here it comes. So um, I'm going to go down to the um, place where I put the flying saucers and check that first of all. Um, and then I'll try up on the ledge anyway, just above, um, just to see if they're, if they're there. Uh, if they're not, then we'll move sort of further along and, and see how we, we get on there. But um, I, I'm pretty, pretty sure that they will be taken, so we'll find out in a moment. All right. 
So as I suspected, they've all, all of the flying saucers have gone. They've left the sticks, they're sort of higgledy-piggledy on the ground here, and their leaves have been disturbed, which makes me imagine there could have been some sort of scuffle going on to collect the sweets, maybe, I don't know. But um, the next stage for me is to try and make my way up to the top there. I'm not going to try and do this because I have to obviously take the camera, so I'll find an, another route around and get up to the level above. Yeah. So it's nice and sunny up here, which is, which is nice. I haven't seen anything particularly that stands out as signs that they've been here, but I've only just got here, so, and there's, there's lots of white mushrooms around. It's a shame I didn't bring the hooker stick because they would have worked fine on, on these because they're much larger heads. These are more common and they're still growing, so that's probably why they haven't been taken. So the next stage is to bring out this little fellow. He's about correct size for Morsu, although he's not necessarily modelled after the Morsu directly, he's just generally pixie-like. I'll put him hanging from this little tree here, and what this does is, if it blows in the wind, it can sometimes make a nice little dancing effect. But it's not particularly windy today, but let's just move him over there a bit, let's get him into the right place. You want it so he's just off the ground. Like that. That should hold. He's just a little bit too high, so bring him down a little bit there. I also have strings attached for his arms so that, uh, although they're broken, these arms I've put back on, he's been repaired so many times. Last time I put his arms on the wrong way around, so but you can imagine if these are attached to different limbs, I won't do it now because it's a fiddly process and takes a long time and it's all tangled up. But these are attached to different limbs and as it, as it, uh, as the wind blows, he can do a bit of this dancing. And uh, the more soon know that he's not real, but it's still enough to draw them to check him out and see what's going on. So I'll finish finish tying him up, and then um, I'll show you when it's when it's when it's when it's done finished. So you can see there this dancing action, which we won't get today because it's not windy unless I stay here doing this. But uh, obviously I can't do that. But the reason why I put him here, as I said, is not to make them believe that he's real. It's just to, to draw them to a particular area. And uh, that's, that's why I do it. So I'll leave him there and we'll see how we get on. So I've just found a, a directional um, marker. Which I just call them directionals. Let's just turn the camera around. And it's just there. So it's, it focuses in on that. You can see there there's a configuration of sticks the longer one indicates a direction of, of travel, and that this would have been laid by a member of the Morsu to show others where they, where they were going. So, coming from up there, and then carrying on down behind me, there's a longer stick here which goes across, and that indicates the time, so that's, that would be pointing at the sun over there. That would have been evening. And this shorter one, I, I've never really worked out what that is, but um, so that's that's an interesting thing to find. Not uncommon, but um, it shows that they were they were here, and that probably was last night, I would imagine, um, looking for me down because it's pointing down to the ledge where the, where we came up from. So there's just, there's one just up here. If I just move the camera up, you can just can you see there just sort of centre of frame and he's looking quite relaxed he was he was watching me a moment ago oh, oh where's he off to he's probably it's, there's no, none others around yeah. so he, he didn't seem too bothered by my presence he was looking at me and um, didn't cause him any alarm so I'll keep my eyes peeled on the top but I'm hoping really that they're going to come down and I'd like to get a shot of them next to the puppet, so um, 
we'll just uh, wait and see. They're not coming down to see the decoy puppet, so it's only been a couple of hours, but I'll stay down here a little while, but then I think I'll move up to the top. So I'm standing where he was. Doesn't seem to be anything, anything around in terms of anything left. I think what I'll do is I'll carry on heading up over that direction. There seems to be a little natural um, pathway going that way, so it's as good as any. There's also one just down here, but that goes up and over the hill. So, so I just saw another one. It could have been the same one. It was just a brief glimpse. Just went down here. So this is went under that tree. focus it in. Can't see him now. And here's some calls coming from down there. to um, unnerve them by approaching if it's a settlement so I think I'll just stay back here and, and listen for any calls just because I don't want to alarm them so I think chasing them around wasn't a good idea that's 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 why they didn't come out um, I think the best the best approach now seeing as it's it's evening is just leave, leave them to it and then and then come back tomorrow if it's good weather so so it's a lot sunnier today which is good uh, it's slightly chilly in the in the air but I think it'll warm up later on um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll make my way down to the um, the the log where I was which I found yesterday which looks out over that settlement. I'm not sure if it's currently occupied, but um, it's worth just spending the day there, I think, and not moving around, because that's been, I think, my downfall so far is just doing too much um, stomping around. Although, first of all, I do have to just pick up the decoy because I left it there in my haste. I, I forgot to pick that up. But um, apart from that, I think I'll stay in that one area all day. So that's the plan. So this is where I'll be all day. It's actually slightly wet, but I brought some, um, I brought a, a bin liner to sit on. So so that should be all right. As I said, I'll, I'll, I'll go down and collect the puppet in a minute, but otherwise I'll just stay here. And hopefully they'll, I'm not going to try, like I, probably said before I'm not hiding from them uh, I don't want to be too loud I'm probably too loud at the moment but um, keep the noise down I'm semi hidden from that log but not enough to look like I'm up to anything particularly suspicious they can they can see me from the, the banks so also I've got another um, I bought another lens today a longer lens so if I if I want to get any further away shots that should come in handy. I didn't bring those before. I normally just have the, the one on the, the the zoom that's on there. But um, so that's that's hopefully going to be handy. So yeah. Um, so I just came back to where the puppets meant to be down there, and uh, it's gone. So look, that's where it was attached to that little tree. If I just try and focus it in, um, where is it? That tree there was attached to the one. Hold on, let me try and. There's my finger. There, that little tree. Um, <laughs> 
I actually find it very annoying, but um, they they did this once before, but it was a long time ago, and it was a different situation. Then I'd left it out for about a week and a half, but it's actually quite irritating because that puppet took me about well, it took a few days to build, and it's the only one that I've got. Um, I'll go down there and try and try and see if there's any signs of anything but I can see already that the straight even the the uh, that the string's gone as well. Well it started to rain just got back to the camp and it's um they raided it I have a, had there was a sandwich in there which is gone there's a flying saucers on the ground which you just check those I need to find somewhere uh, to there's one left in there. Um, quite annoying because <laughs> the sandwich. Put it, I don't mind the flying saucers, but uh, the sandwich was was. I was having that was my lunch. So, so today's playing a trick on me, obviously, because it, rain, it stopped raining almost as soon as I uh, left the, um, the the log area, and then I thought better safe than sorry, and I've been here about. 40 minutes and it's, of course it's blue, completely blue sky and it's all dried up. So I should go back there. They're complete kleptomaniacs, the, 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 the well not just the morsu pixies in general. They'll take anything that you leave around and I shouldn't really have left my gear there. It's just laziness, it's just because Carrying the carrying the tripod and everything is luckily they can't. Glad they didn't get the, the anything um, <coughs> worth worth you know money, but the sandwich is particularly annoying because it's the only thing I had to eat today and I'm go hungry now. Um, right, <laughs> let's um, back to square one again after after all of that. Lose lost of two or three hours or so. Um, but uh, I, the plan's the same. I'm, I'm going to be positive and uh, keep the camera. Ch I'll ca change the lens over in a moment, and then we can see if anything occurs down there. So it's just started raining again. I was just about to do a video, just do an illustration. Um, haven't seen anything. It's been about an hour and a half uh, since the, since the last video. I savoured the last flying saucer and um, <laughs> I found some blackberries so that was that was it but I, I think I'm I think it, it, if it really I'll give it 20 minutes this rain and if it doesn't stop I, I think I'll just have to call it a day sorry about that I really I picked the wrong time of year to start doing this it was, I should have done it earlier on when this when it was more summery in general I need that I need that bag for the camera. Um, I was also going to talk. Oh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll t yeah, sorry. So it stopped raining just as I was leaving. So I give today one more chance and uh, see if we can get back on track. Um, so. The, the name Morsu comes from the Latin Magnum Morsu, and that's uh, that means big bite or large teeth. I was actually uh, going for large teeth. Um, the reason being, the first couple that I saw uh, here uh, both had very protruding teeth, and uh, I thought that was a tribal characteristic. But it's it doesn't seem to be. It was just that it was just those two individuals, and the name I just kept um, for the rest of them. Um, yeah, so I've not. That's not really. Um, that's not really a feature of them. As I said, they're they're quite typical for um, pixies, about ten inches high. Um, uh, limited technology, well, you know, spears and and things like that. They adorn their themselves with little um, bracelets and necklaces and things and you know things that they found. They're very they're very proud of of, of, of anything uh, you know like 
if they find a, a bird skull or something like that. I've seen them wear bird skulls as hats. <laughs> they, um, they sort of hollow out the base and, and, and they can put them on their heads. And, uh, you know, they do things like that. They'll find, if they find animal claws, uh, they'll often make jewellery out of, of those um, around the neck and, you know, that sort of thing. They, yeah, they, they use slug skins as well. I've seen uh, um, slug skins they'll use for carrying water and uh, they, they'll use that also as, as uh, clothing. Um, I don't know how they cure the, the skin of it to stop it rotting away, but um, it actually looks quite attractive, funnily enough. The, um, the surface of a slug is quite intricate and it, it looks quite nice. Um, and snails, they use snails, again for carrying things in. Uh, larger snails are quite make quite useful. Um, I've seen it's quite common actually for them to to use them as a as a little backpack or something like that. Um, I'll just go back. To, I'll just get the camera. Right. I can hear something. Oh, at last he's coming out. Been waiting here for about. Uh, oh, he's going uh, going back in. So uh, that's it for today, um, mainly because I'm too hungry and I need to go and eat something. <laughs> Sorry, but um, I think there's one up there, but I, I can't get, I don't want to, uh, I just need, yeah, I need to get some more energy and, um, and then come back um, yeah, when it's another day. Ah, oh, he's got my... Look. Right, look at this. Hold on. My, my, my sandwich. <laughs> very, very tempted to, to go and get that from him. Probably won't even like um, tuna mayonnaise. Uh, right, well, that's the final straw for me, I'm afraid, today. I, I'm, I'm going to head off home. OK, bye-bye. Good morning. Um, the, the plans not really changed from yesterday, but hopefully without the rain. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, that's that's really it for today. And uh, I was just speaking to Tom actually last night, who's the chap who helped me get all the sort of gear set up for this. And uh, he's he's a young filmmaker and. Um, He's been, uh, he was giving me some advice to try to, uh, to make, just, he was saying there's lots of shots of me just talking uh, like this. <laughs> so um, I'm going to try to shoot some more um, wider shots of me just, I don't know, get, walking around and doing things. <laughs> well, I feel a bit weird doing that, but um, uh, that's the idea. And um, first of all, I thought we'd go to a place where I've been before. Uh, an interesting spot in the woods. Uh, I won't spoil it, I'll show you in a... We'll go straight there, actually. This sort of shot I'm talking about, like uh, walking around from A to B. Although I quite clearly haven't got my camera on me, so it's, <laughs> it's a bit fakery, really, but, you know. So I thought I'd just show this off. This is quite a rarity. The Morsu don't tend to, to do any rock carving. I think their ancestors made a lot more effort than the current generation who just stick snails and things around to make attractive patterns, but nothing, nothing like this. This was obviously quite a lot of work. And obviously that's the main entrance there. And those nice little staircase things, which they don't really need. I mean, they're quite capable of clambering over the rocks, but I think it's really just to look impressive. And I quite like this figure here, which is <laughs> quite elaborately done. And these patterns there, I, I don't know if there's any um, sort of hieroglyphic meaning to them. They remind me of um, a little bit of uh, the sort of um, 
Aboriginal patterns of um, Australia in a way. There's another smaller entrance here, less impressive. But um, yeah, I've been up here many times, but I've never seen them actually use this. So I presume they come here some. Maybe it has some spiritual or, you know, some, some sort of uh, special religious meaning to them. I don't know. Try and work out what it means. <laughs> I just saw one come down, down this little ravine place. This is this is an area they use for um, ambush, for prey. They'll stand those ledges around on either side, and they'll stand up there with their little bows and arrows and things and some more will chase prey down this ravine and they'll um it's a concentrated area where they can get a good shot i just saw one come down here there's no there's no 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 there's no hunt going on now but um I might just stay here for a while, just before I go down to the... In fact, it's probably, it might be pretty good staying here. There's one just up here. See him just... That's it, just there. Ah, he's gesturing to somebody. Let's just take a look around there. Where is he? He's up here somewhere. There he is, there he is. Gesturing back again. <laughs> what are they doing? Where's he gone? He's gone. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's going as well. Nobody else around. Anyone else? Oh. I'll stay around for a while longer, I think. Although I haven't seen anything in the last half an hour. But, um,. I was just checking this place out. Um, there's snail shells around, so uh, it piled up so just in, down in there, so it looks like a um, sheltering spot for them. I've already eaten my lunch today. <laughs> Made sure I got that down me before. Also, I'm just keeping everything very close to me. It's dead here. Well, it has been for the last hour. Um, I'm thinking of going down to the... Uh, around behind the, the cave at the end to see if there's any other um, exits or entrances. Because um, there's nothing really good. I can't, I've not heard even anything. So... At least we saw something earlier, but... Um, I'm... I'm off tomorrow because I've got to go to, to the laund laund laundrette um, and then I have to get my van MOT'd uh, the day afterwards so uh, I might not be back for a couple of days, two or three, well, depending on whether I pass the MOT or not, which I suspect not. Um, let's, try and, let's try behind the cave, I can hear um, or scuffling around sounds from up there. We're um the cave. Well, I'll show you on the the camera. The um we're behind the the cave. So the the, the log we're at is down here somewhere. Down there. Cave is sort of underneath. So then up there. So. I'll go up here. I'll take the camera actually, but I'll go up here. Now this is an entrance at the top of the cave. It's uh, not only an entrance up there, but there's one just down here as well. That goes down. You can't really see it there, but that goes quite deep. It's not really showing up on the, the camera. And there's another entrance that way. So this is a sort of junction <coughs> between three different uh, caves. This one here 
um, goes up. You can see there the top part of the, uh, the cave there that probably connects up there. It's just um, there's nothing here now. I was just <laughs> got the camera out to film up here. There was one up on this ledge, and there was another one that was gesturing to him. See, he was there, and then another one up here. They've gone. And the time it took me to get the camera out. Sorry about that. There's the um, junction down there. Okay, found one. The last, quite a good shot of him. Oh, he's going to go. He's going down. <laughs> First decent shot I get, and he runs off. That's annoying. I think he's the one that was um, up here a moment ago. So that's it for today. Uh, I've got to head off now. Um, as I said, it's going to be a couple of days or so before I come back because I have some things I need to get on with. Um, but uh, after that, we'll come back here and try and get some better footage <laughs> of the Morsu um, rather than just footage of them trying to uh, get away from the, the camera. And um, yeah, after that, I think we'll go somewhere different. Uh, you know, on the next uh, you know, expedition or whatever, um, maybe Dartmoor or, or Wales or somewhere like a you know moorland or completely different uh, landscape, different uh, type of creature as well. So, cheerio! So I'm back again. Uh, it's a bit miserable today. It was raining just before I came out and uh, a little bit. So that's why I brought this coat, which I don't like carrying around because it's just a just uh, an added um, complication. Uh, I was I had to get some work done on the van, so that's why I'm. There's a delay in me coming back. I think I probably mentioned that was a that was a risk. Um, but seeing as they've this area down here actually is the area where I was doing the, the canyon bit, and I'm just going to have a little look around, seeing as they've seen me for a while. Uh, and just see if I can spot anything. Then I'll go back to the area where we were uh, at the end of um, the last video that I did. Yeah. So I thought I'd just try and uh, take a look up on top of the ledge up here. But <laughs> now I'm up here, it looks slightly more difficult than it did when I was down there. I think I'm being a bit over ambitious. <laughs> but that's normally where they are, it's on top, so I just want to try and I can't do it. <laughs> ah! I'm not gonna <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to I'll find another way. Not quite sure if it was worth the effort, but uh there are there's beech nuts on the ground, which reminds me that it's autumn, some of the leaves are starting to go brown and some of the trees quite dramatically now. There's a starting here, but um, they'll be collecting things like beech nuts and other various uh, things for the winter during harvest time. I'm going to stay away from the edge because, but there's nothing really that they've left around. But it was, I think it was worth having a check. Uh, I don't know if you can actually came here to do a thing about the moss, but there's one behind me. I'm not going to look at him. Um, I don't know even know if it's been captured by the video, but um, he was just on the on the ledge down there. I can't see him now. Maybe anyway, I was just c came here to say that um, the, this moss is used for cleaning, for cleaning their bodies against. Um, they can rub up and down on that and uh, use it like a sponge. So it's very useful. It's always around the base of the trees, which is obviously convenient for them. Yeah, just been checking the um, this tree uh, from around the base. So I was suspicious because of its shape and its standalone. It could have been used as a as a uh, you know sacred tree, and um, in which case it would have had carvings. Or more interesting, even than that, they sometimes well the more so don't, but some pixies can actually um, affect the tree as it's growing by injecting little um, potions into the the bark and causing tumours, and uh, they can. 
they can make those into interesting forms like uh, faces and things. But that that isn't one, but I'm just wearing my shirt because I'm too hot. Now this one just down here, you just see walking behind the tree. Might be able to see him when he comes out, although not really very well. He's heading off down towards the uh, the other settlement, so I'll, I'll I'll go down there myself. I think. Yeah, there's one just up here there just in front of camera um he's been keeping an eye on me um but he's just sat down there um but i don't think this is a camp and i think he's just sent out as a as a, as a scout to just keep an eye on what i'm doing so um not sure if it's worth staying around uh to be honest so not sure so it's sunny today, um, <laughs> but it's also very cold. That's why I'm wearing this jacket. Um, although stomping through the woods soon gets you very warm. Um, <laughs> but um, I'm going to go down to the same area. Uh, but if there's nothing, no signs of anything, I think I'll just have a little wander around again. I think that's the best approach at the moment because... As I said, I don't think that's actually being used as a settlement, so... Uh, anyway, I'm going to keep it brief. Let's go down there and sort s s see it. So this is a pretty typical um, um, settlement area. You can see the, hopefully see the nail shells and bits and bobs piled up. There's little, little telltale signs lying around. There's down here, there's a bit of... Um, This looks like a section of um, of um, a, like a walkway that they use strung up between trees. I don't know what's doing here. Maybe they hadn't finished it. Um, actually, I'll just show you that. I might as well show you that. That's quite interesting. It's um, gum string, and uh, which is a so this is an example of. Uh, piece of walkway and as I say it's also a good example of this material which is gum string made of uh, wool fibers so then bound together with this compound that they make from uh, well birds feces and tree sap and various other things it makes it very strong and um, so they'd, they'd walk along there and I'd imagine that this was because there aren't any of these around that I've seen in this area so this could well be um, I'll just put it back actually um, although I'll go out of focus as I go up here but I should leave it really could have been a project for a young Morsu learning the um, the skills uh, or something like that sorry it's out of focus I know it will be because I focused it in close to the camera and being watched by um, up on the ledge just get out the way so you can if you can see just up there I won't st stare directly because it might make him run off um, so I thought I might try to find one of those walkways um, I know an area where there were some that was a long time ago they don't last that long um, is he still there no <laughs> Um, what was I saying? Oh yes, uh, walkways. Let's um, yeah, let's take a wander down to the other part of the woods. Morning. It's a nice sunny day today. So, and I'm approaching from this different direction today. I think this is um, a better approach for me to find the walkways rather than trying to go from where I was yesterday. And I didn't really know the from the A to B route. So. Uh, that's why I ended up getting um, a bit lost. <laughs> uh, but at least we found that deer skull, which I've started sterilising, and I'll give that to them um, uh, when it's dried out, probably tomorrow. Uh, so, yeah, I'll try to go down and find those those walkways. Right. Just spotted this little dam, which they've constructed um, from logs and uh, organic material 
just making a little shallow area for them to cross. Uh, they often do this sort of thing, plant something in the middle just to make it more visible if you're walking from further away. Uh, and it also makes it look quite attractive. But I was just checking for um, signs on the bank of um, footprints or anything like that, any sort of track activity, but there's nothing here. And this looks, certainly doesn't look maintained. So, but I'll check up and down the banks anyway, see if we can find any signs. So I'm not sure what this is, but it shows all the hallmarks of uh, pixie construction. Um, basically covering sticks and logs with um, organic materials so it binds it together and makes a, quite a solid structure. Now this is in the bog area and it's very muddy but this is having a filtering effect and inside there and it goes in quite a long way all around there's a clearish pool of water there so I'm imagining this could be used as a as a way of them uh, as a spot where they can gather clear fresh water possibly I don't know I'm just um, speculating but um, I've not seen that before so I can't really give you any information on it but that's my best guess on that I'm still looking for tracks but not found any yet if I don't find any soon I'll get back to the um, looking for walkways I think but rather annoyingly I've forgot my hat again put it down somewhere then left it so uh, I can't be bothered to um, go back and look for it this time I think uh, it was only cheap anyway I think I'll go back to my old hat which anyway um, this is the rough area where the, the, the walkways are so I'm going to take a stroll around and, and try and locate them I, I can't remember exactly where they were haven't seen I've been trying to look on the way up here but I haven't spotted them yet so let's uh let's just carry on good morning uh um finally got some nice weather so uh I thought I'd go for a little stroll through this bluebell woods which I've heard about before but I've never actually been here so I'm um, very glad that it's it's lovely and sunny and, and warm it was been raining off and on for the last uh couple of weeks so I haven't really uh had a chance to go out but um yeah today I'm just uh going for a walk mainly <laughs> um so yeah let's take a stroll it's a rather interesting shaped uh log here it's quite uh, any interesting features like this I always check around to see if there's anything any sort of um, thing left around the base or any signs or any carvings or anything like that there's nothing here quite tempted to it looks quite a nice bench <laughs> but um, I've only just started so it's I can't really justify having a sit down I crack on just checking these trees for any interesting detritus not found anything yet um, also using the the other camera that um, Tom lent me and starting slowly to get used to it but um, it's harder to focus than the other one wild garlic around well everywhere but I can smell it here it's a very nice aroma not as strong as garlic which you'd buy in a supermarket but it's um it has its own very 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 nice aroma it's a shame they don't last longer these bluebells it'd be rather nice to have this throughout the summer but unfortunately these will be gone in a couple of weeks time it's a shame it's a nice mossy rock 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 log sorry there that I was just about to sit down on but then I thought uh, don't want to be lazy I'll carry on trying to find these tracks no luck yet it's rather pretty in here I'm enjoying the the walk that's for sure on second thoughts um I will <laughs> have a little break uh, doesn't matter if it's lazy or not I'm not I don't have a 
anybody breathing down my neck so I can do what I like, quite frankly. <laughs> and, um, oops, flies are undone. I bought this, actually, this hat from, um, I bought four of them. Uh, actually bought them f on the internet and um, so I'm quite glad that they fit. Just have a relax for a bit. Just checking the um, base of the tree where you get this moss around the bay. I think I might have mentioned this before. You sometimes get abrasions on here from cleaning. They'll use the moss when it's dewy in the morning and they'll rub up against it. It's quite like a... it also works as a towel <laughs> to dry them down. But it, when it's wet, it's, it's a good... Um, for cleaning, there's nothing there. Nothing on this tree. vines obviously used for climbing sometimes so trying to see if there's any structures up there or anything suspicious nothing <laughs> nothing I can see anyway So the sun's going down, well not down, I mean, well it is going from our perspective, but of course it's, we're just rotating so, around, sorry. Um, I've had quite a good day, I mean I haven't seen any folk, woodland folk, but um, I've heard reports of this area and so I think it's probably worth me having a, having a scout around here for a little while, not now, but you know, when I come back. Um, in the next few days or so and um, see how we get on. I think next time I'll stay in one spot and I've, I've just started getting into um, wood cutting, actually lino cutting, but um, so I might bring that with me and just stay in one spot and just keep keep an eye out and sort of do a bit of that and yeah. Anyway, so that's it. For the, so thank you for um, for watching again. Sorry I haven't presented you with anything particularly that interesting. I did have a squirrel early on, but I, well I didn't manage to catch it on, I tried to catch it, but um, not on, not literally, I mean on camera, but to no avail I'm afraid. Anyway, that's so uh, stop waffling. <laughs> bye bye. So it's just a quick, so it's just a quick update that keeps catching oh, on my arm. <laughs> um, just to say I haven't really seen any um, people and I should I've sat here because I thought it would look nice and it's <coughs> got a thorn right ow I'll just make it quick um haven't really seen anything uh, in terms of woodland folk but I have seen a couple of interesting um features in the woods which I've not come across before so let's go now <laughs> before ow I get ah ow there's thorns everywhere. That's a little hole, and I remember this. Well, obviously, and there's no point me telling you that. You can see it's a, a hole. And uh, last time I came, it had a little mushroom just in the, in, growing in the middle of it. And there's nothing there now, so I'm not quite sure why I'm showing it off, but it looks rather nice anyway. So this is going to be my lookout spot for the rest of the day. Get quite a good view down there. Well, all the way around, in fact. So, um, trying to discipline myself to stay in one place, which can get rather boring. So, normally I'll bring something like something to fiddle with, but I forgot to bring my well, today I was going to bring a sketch pad and do some drawing, because if I'm drawing down there, I'll see any movement. Mm. 
something moved off down there. Again, I, I, I didn't quite catch it in time. I'm so... Um, I'm trying to not... shouldn't really be following him. But I'm, I'm making so much noise. I'll just grab the whole tripod. Ow! I don't normally act like this. It's because I feel the pressure's on when I'm filming it. Have a new lookout spot now. Didn't stay long at the last one. That's quite annoying as well. Ow. Um. So I checked the footage, and I can't. I, it's too. The monitor's too small. I can't see anything. I've got itches on both arms now. Really in the mood for this today. I'll stay here for a while, but this might be my last sign in. So, like and subscribe. And I hate saying that, I really hate saying that. But I, Tom said I have to say it at the end like and subscribe if you like it. If you don't like it, don't. I wouldn't subscribe if you don't like it. It doesn't make any sense. Oop, so that's a bit more successful. <laughs> I mean, I'd only been here like half an hour, so it was almost instant, which makes me slightly uh, <laughs> confused. Also, why didn't take those flying saucers? Anyway, let's not waste any time because he's obviously nearby, so. No, it's too frustrating. <laughs> I'm going to carry on. Sorry for the close up of my ugly mug. I just saw him, sorry, the camera's not level. I just saw him down there. So, it's the opposite direction from where I was going. I'm going to turn this off because I need to look where I'm going. He doesn't seem to be trying to get away from me. He could easily hide. But um, I saw him when I was, I, just before I was started, um, I think I filmed it when I was walking up there and um, he was sort of making, well, not saying come over here, but like doing some sort of strange, trying to attract my attention, flapping around. They don't normally do that, so he's gone down there. He's down there. Right, okay, let me get to the best way back. Ah. Just trying to show why I keep stumbling. It's not the most easy terrain to walk over. We're out of the rocky area. <laughs> this is a lot nicer to walk through here. I keep seeing him. I don't know if I'm in frame there. I keep seeing little glimpses of him, but he just sort of nips up and goes away. I haven't so far been able to get the camera uh, on him. He's around here somewhere. He came down to this this sort of corner area. 
nice cave there. Can't see him. I just caught a quick glimpse of him. He was actually, um, well, actually just slightly to the right up here. But he sort of came down. So I think he's gone into that cave. So, in which case, I'll just wait for him to come out. <laughs> Find a better spot than here, though. It's not be comfortable. See, this is this is a sort of situation where I wish I had two cameras. I've got this little thing. It's like a little um. Tele well, it's a telescope, monoscope. But obviously, I can't film, so I have a choice of filming the whole thing or me. I mean, or him. Just remember that I brought my um, my pad and pens, so. <laughs> I'll draw something, but I better draw it over there, a bit of that, because otherwise I'll miss anything that's going on. Uh, find a nice, comfortable position and using a dip pen. I like the effect it gives. It's not very comfortable holding my book up, but I can't. You won't be able to see it otherwise. I just started, just doing that doing a bit from the outside the cave it's not the most inspiring scene to be honest but at least it keeps my attention there so I do tend to if I don't have something to do like this I tend to just sort of wander off and start looking anywhere That'll do. <laughs> I think I might go in the cave. Just check it out. It's interesting around here. <laughs> That's nice. You can't see it, of course. Some nice mushrooms there. That looks like there's another cave up there. There's an entrance way it goes in. And it's getting cold as I get here. And that goes down in. I need a torch really. Well I have one I'll get one from the bag. Um no point stalling it anymore. <laughs> um, probably help if I brought the camera. I don't think he is down here. He wouldn't be able to see. <laughs> so, just looking for bats. Sometimes get them roosting in these areas. No carvings anywhere. Any signs of things like that? What's that? Right, there's something there. Okay, some. So, I wasn't expecting that. Keep put the uh, save batteries on uh, on that. That torch wasn't very good. Made a tiny little dot of light, and then uh, so that was a, w a worm. W y r i w y r m. Uh, luckily, a very small one. Sorry, I'm all um. <laughs> 
fidgety after that. It was a shock. They won't come, he won't come out now. Not in the, not in the day. Well, they don't come out much anyway. Yeah, they can grow up to, well, 10 times that size probably. So, uh, but still, when it comes out of nowhere, it's... Um, I think that'll do for today. I can't really think of anything else to say at the moment. Hello. <laughs> uh, you might notice that I uh, look a bit different. <laughs> I've got a bit of a, an explanation for that. So probably about four weeks ago, uh, three or four weeks ago, just it wasn't long after the last video of the, the cave, I, um, I went and sat by the base of a tree, drawing a picture of the tree in the hope that if he, the same pixie was around, that he might turn up. And uh, I didn't get a sighting, but after about half an hour, probably a bit more, probably about an hour, I don't know, but I got this sharp pain in the back of my neck, which I thought, ow, that's a bee sting probably, or something like that. And I, and I went back and there was something sticking out of it. So I pulled it out, it really hurt. And um, there was this uh, little <laughs> arrow. Um, so I thought, well, great, well, I've been shot. So I looked up, I couldn't see him anywhere. And, um, and as I was doing that, I started feeling, whoa, okay, well, I'm starting to feel strange now. And uh, the world was sort of, it was like it was sort of moving towards, anyway, very strange feeling. So I, I thought, well, I need to get away from this because obviously he's done something to, you know, I don't know what he'd done to the tip of the arrow, but I, I stumbled away and uh, sat down by this um, tree and uh, feeling very strange. And, uh, and I started, um, got my little scissors out, saw them in the bag, and I started cutting out geometric patterns from leaves. And I don't know why I did that, but it seemed like it was a quite an important thing to do uh, at the time. And then, um, circles. <laughs> it's all different shapes, all different. That's the square. It's gone from that one. I threw it to where I put it. Um, uh, hair, <laughs> hairy, Nothing. hair's too long really, I should get rid of it, you can make something out of that, they could make something out of that, like a different uh, way of sleeping in a, like a little mattress out of hair. You could do, I have not done that before. That's just, it's too small for me. It might be all right for them. I could leave them some of that. And then um, they could try and live in it day, at night time. It's quite soft. It's not soft and you can you could probably use that yourself if you're but you'd have to make yourself really small to get into that and then this is more that's you can feel it it's not it's different it's the beard hair is more just generally a bit more Probably got it all uneven now on the one side and the other one. Um, still here. Soft air. Need to get. I need to get a drink. Uh, that's where my hat went. I lost it. Lost it. Lost on it. Ah, uh, I've cut my hair now. It's 
silly. Now, I brought this in today, just in case he comes along. And it's a, it's a, it's a toy gun, and it's got a little pellet in it. And if you do that, unfortunately, I bought the wrong size pellet. I got this one from a car boot sale, and it's got a larger aperture, so that one doesn't really go. There's somebody there now. Uh, yes, I believe, yeah. It's a... okay. <laughs> slightly embarrassing. I'm uh, just doing a little wild, sort of wildlife um, blog thing. Over there, what you done? Um, nothing, just leaves and just, just anything that's around. Yeah, so just. Not animals? No. I'm a busy bozzy. <laughs> there's, unfortunately, there's a path down there, and then she's strayed off it and come up here. Um, so I can't remember what I was saying now. So I got this really just to if he if he comes along and I shoot this, I wouldn't try and get him directly. But I think even if I did, it wouldn't kill him. It would just be a. Um, <laughs> uh, like sort of no, it's not. No, it's not really a military thing. It's um, it's just uh, as I said, I, I'm, it's a wildlife thing. Oh, okay. So yeah, just this is just for fun, really. It's just if it's just because it's boring sitting around for long periods of time when you're doing wildlife things. So just for something to do. So okay. yeah. Thanks. Yeah, so anyway, just for self defense, really. So it's not been a particularly successful day in terms of sightings. Well, it's not been successful at all, but it's been successful insofar as that I haven't got injured. Uh, I don't. I can't really attribute it to this <laughs> because it doesn't. I'm sat here where there's no really overhanging branches that are near. They're further away, and I don't think the arrow would get momentum if he tried to do that again. <laughs> um, I have a theory actually about the pixie and, and the and the and the worm because I think he lured me down there. So I have. Well, I won't go into it now, but um, it's, interest, it's an interesting. Um, Thing going on there, and it obviously is malevolent towards me, and I don't know what I've done wrong. <laughs> but uh, he doesn't know who I am, so uh, I'll probably call it a day now because it's it's um well I'm bored <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I don't think he's going to turn up, but anyway, so like and subscribe and all of that. I hate saying that, but you know, and um, yeah, I'll. Uh, See you soon, hopefully. <laughs>